folks that had them go start out. Can we get the ones that are stickers and are not so well, we don't have them signed. Oh, so we have those yeah. start from scratch. Scratch, okay. We made a motion and get started no, out. We had to get them from the prison. Okay. So, Paul, you got anything else for us? No, we're some nice comments from folks about the roads. So. Yeah, I got some good yeah. ones. Absolutely. Pretty happy. Yep. Thank, Thank you for the lake, too. I've got a lot of compliments. Yeah, it's, they did a lot of cold patch. Yeah, they did. Well, did Missoula uh, County ever come to that lower end of Rockford? I don't know. I haven't been down there. Yeah. We didn't. So, uh, I had two or three calls, nice people, and I gave them the Missoula County Commission's phone number. I said, here you go. And she said, well, will you call? I said, I already have. <laughs> I want to record. One thing we talked about when you were here was the extent of that extra mile and a half of chip sealing. Okay. And then we'll put that on the agenda yeah. for next week. Okay. We'll have to be in there. good. Well, you know, I hate to, you know, come back and try to do stuff like that. We've got the crap all out there, we'll just do it. Well, you don't have all the most cost and all that stuff either. Oh, yeah. yeah. But that makes sense. So they're going to be here the week of the 13th. Oh, okay. And they'll be here all week, Paul? Well, just so they're done, you know, they may be it might be the 14th when they get here or whatever, but that's going to be our week, so. Okay. And I need to get back in touch with them so we make sure he gets lined out and bring enough stuff to do the extra mile and a half if we are going to do it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which I right. couldn't yeah. imagine not doing it. But. Let's see, 1.7 miles or 1.5? 1 1.5. 1 .5. Yeah, it's about, it's about 1.4, but I mean, you might have yeah. figured it a mile and a half. Mm -hmm. I got more past me. Right. right. Sounds good to me. Other than that. Uh, there's an ar agreement with subcontractors. Did you, have you covered that yet, or where do we stand on that? On the agenda, there's uh, agreements with subcontractors on current road project to so the Forest Service. That was put on there in case any added subcontractors we needed. Yeah, so we, we, didn't have any. Uh, we didn't have no other ones besides the ones we have. Was that ever so put up for public bid? Paul called all the local contractors, and he made a uh, document who we called and what they're responsible. I don't. I don't well, the the law you says need to have it. It's not. Well, there's an yeah. There's an exemption yeah. in the law there. Wait, which which law gives you the exemption on that? Well, okay. So public comment is uh, two o'clock today. So we'll talk about that then. But. Um, we're not having a discussion about that now because we didn't. Uh, the subcontractors have been engaged, so we're good. Uh, anything else, Paul? No. Okay. Mayor? Gail Lee Byrne, with Drummond, for the record. Um, so this is prelim, prelim conversation with you guys. I talked with Steve Felix from the state and wanted some of that. Um, you know how the, the mountains crumbling down there by the chalet, how it falls down there. So he's going to give us um, some of that to put on our sewer lagoon road to build it up. We have to haul it, and so um, we got to find out how much we have to have and all of that. So um, just maybe <clears throat> I'd like to have two trucks. Um, and don't know if it'll work out to, to use a county truck. Um, they'll load it at the site, All right. but we have to haul it. Do you know when? I, and it's going to be, we probably won't know until, you know, a little bit before because... Um, Any idea of uh, how many loads get? I, I don't. That's why I say it's that very, very preliminary because... Some um, of that's like three to four feet. Right. We just we just need to get a good base, and that's going to be the best stuff to use, a because of the cost. Um, but um, I'm going to meet with some people and and just have them give me how many yards 
it's going to take to do it, you know, how much we're going to do. Um, and then Rick Skaggs, um, you know, he, he called me and he said, I don't know when it's going to be. It's going to be a fall project. That's all I can tell you. And so I would like to be able to see if we can work with the county for the dump truck. And then, and then get another dump truck so that we at least have two going. But I'm sure we run a couple of county dump trucks. You got? I don't. I don't know how many. Oh, we dump trucks. She gets yet. figured out. Right. Them, cause we still got to haul all the chips, and then we got to haul that stuff to the fire or the horse service too. So we want to make sure that we don't. Well, and her. right, and and like I said, this is just preliminary because. Um, Mr. Felix just got back. Did you use a building up there? Uh, you know, I looked yeah. out there and... A lot of that riprap stuff so big and just tear it in walls. Well, and you could, the <coughs> landowner that's there, we thought about that too, but the water table is so high down there that you'd have to get off the side of the road and dump it and you're going to get stuck. Well, I, mean, I don't think you can get out of the road with the I, The first corner you're going to be in trouble. Well, I'm going through the underpass. So. Anyway, this is this. I just wanted to touch base with you guys um, to put in the thoughts, and then I'll get put on the agenda sure that when I know more. Talk to them, Gail. You got to figure out that if you're going to have a dump, you got something to spread. We do. Okay. We we have a um, we do have a big front end load. Okay, that's all um, right. To you know, I mean, so ideally, a roller and all of that stuff would be great, but we're not even. So maybe when it gets closer. Right. Uh, I'll get put on the agenda. Make sure you maybe call the police. We well, and the, I think the best thing to do is for me to come up here in the morning when everybody's together. So then everybody's on, on the, the same, same page, page mm -hmm. with it. So. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. All right. Okay. Anything else, Mr. Roll? No. Thanks. Good job. Tell you guys. Good job. Can I have an answer to my question, please? All right, we'll see you guys. Yeah, thank you. Thanks. Thanks, so, Paul. Thanks, Mr. Have a good day, Paul. Call Kyle. He was wanting to stand. Yeah, I will. For that. Yeah. Okay. So, MCA 77 5 2304. So, basically, uh, uh, one of the another reason why it didn't get put in the paper is this has got to be done right away or this uh, sale wouldn't be this year. So uh, there is a clear exemption. Well, uh, is Mr. Alt the one that's authorized to do that, or is it the commissioners that are uh, responsible for putting their notices in the papers? Well, the, there is no requirement to put it in the paper under that code. Uh, okay, so if you guys want to have a discussion, we're going to do it in another time. We're on the agenda. We're moving ahead. The uh, next item is Georgetown Lake Overflow uh, Review and Decision, Commissioner Paul. Uh, right now, the uh, lake elevation is 6429.66. That's 1.92 inches above full pool. There's just a trickle uh, going across the spillway right now. It, probably in a couple days, uh, the spillway will be dry. Uh, change the uh, CFS across the weir is a 63.4 now. And there's still 42 CFS going down through the plant. Uh, I recommend that we uh, shut the creek down. Uh, uh, Put that valve down a little bit more on the creek and uh, uh, let the uh, plant handle all of the uh, out, outflow from the dam. Which should be 45? 40, 42 is 42. now. Okay. So, and, and, uh, Council, does that mean our reports to the irrigators at this point? So, it's over. Yeah, yeah. So, as long as that's equal to the end, you think that it's equal to the inflow? Yeah. yeah. So that's not, that's not, a, yeah, it's not a modification on the first quarter, so yeah, yeah. that's good. And uh, when the dam work does get started, uh, Paul Talon and Hydrodynamics, they'd like a schedule, a scope of work, and the drop prints, if there are any, uh, and uh, just to, so they can work with us uh, when we do uh, uh, 
if we need to draw the lake down more or whatever. So, and I, I, and I, I hydro means that. Huh? Electric hydro means that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. the hydrodynamics. Right. So you want to make a motion of the lake? Did you get that from Mike? What a, what's a turn on that? What's what's how much is a turn when you? A full turn. You said, uh, we need to figure that out so we know when they're. It says six to eight turns. I was just curious on the, what volume or what I. I don't know, but they just and I wouldn't do it with the new or the old valves. I'd do it with the new ones. Well, I just want to know what. It's yeah. Doing. Well, I asked that question because I saw so West. Mm -hmm. he, he asked. He said, "Well, it depends on how much hand pressure." Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. So I guess it turns into turn. Well, depending on the lake, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. That makes sense. Because yeah. I, I didn't know what to do. And I had moved to uh, to turn the uh, valve down. Uh, Reduce the creek flow and uh, <coughs> and to 42 as it is now. Well, maybe at least 42. So, um, Becky, do you understand the motion? Um, Commissioner Bonnie moved to have an outflow reduce to the amount of the inflow. Well, the inflow. Yeah, 42. 42 CFS. Mm -hmm. Seconded by Commissioner Adler. 